everybody Morning. it's your old pal Dave in the bubble over here is everybody glad to be here amen. I'm hoping y'all are saying amen because I can't hear you through my earphones but uh it sure is good to be here and uh good to be singing and uh it's good to see all of you and uh we're gonna do another good classic here which one we doing mama I can't remember well let's do it <laughs> one two three Is my plea 
God, our prayer today is this. We get closer to you. I'm so glad that Constance is able to be here with us today. We want to thank you for her life and God, all the things that you're doing. We give you praise and honor and glory. God, we, we pray in the name of Jesus for Miss Madeira that's been mentioned this morning for our brother too. God, as he's experiencing, God, some heart blockage in the name of Jesus. That heart blockage has to go in the name of Jesus, God. We're giving you the praise, the honor, and the glory for it. God, we pray for a family. There are several families that lost loved ones, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Uh, the Stevenson family, God, a Pooh family. Uh, God, I pray for my son today in the name of Jesus. And we thank you today. And just in the middle of this prayer, let me say for Wallace Greer and his family, they wanted to tell the church family this morning that they're still in Saudi Arabia, but they appreciate our prayers. And so today we say, we say hello to the Greer family. God, we pray for them in the name of Jesus, God. You protected them as they've traveled, and God, you're protecting them now. Even as we speak, we give you praise. You call out a name this morning. Yes. 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 In the name of Jesus. What about a unspoken request? God, we 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 want to be conformed to your image. And God, we're here today, God, to to draw closer to you. God, to assemble ourselves together. God, you've said in your word where two or three agree that you're in the midst. God, uh, where two or three agree concerning whatever they ask, where two or three are come together, you're in the midst. So we want to give you praise. We want to give you honor. And God, as we take up this offering, maybe there's someone here that needs a job, needs a bill to be paid, that we're going to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory for that. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We want to welcome you today. Welcome each and every one of you. And so good. Welcome our visitors. We have visitors today. I'll be announcing them in a few moments. But uh, so good to have you on Facebook and on YouTube. And it's good to be in the house of the Lord today. Let's just give him another hand clap of praise. Isn't he wonderful? Oh, yes. This is a beautiful card, and it comes from Miss Shelton back here. And, uh, you know, that's what this uh, church is about, is loving somebody. And she said, your thoughtfulness means so much. What can I say to someone who has done so much for me, who means so much to me, who holds such an important place in my heart? All I can think of is thank you, thank you, and thank you again. Thank you to each and every one of you at Beulah Church. You have been so good to me. I love my church, and I appreciate all the prayers and thoughtfulness of everyone. Miss Shelton, amen. Uh, do we have any announcements? Thank you, Jesus. Okay, we got a, uh, we've got him in the bulletin. Isn't it so good to be in God's house today? In the name of Jesus, God. In the name of Jesus, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Let's all stand this morning. All right, y'all. Still over here. <laughs> Poor, dear mama, she does not like me back here behind these drums, y'all. She wants me standing up there playing that guitar and singing. And perhaps that's going to happen someday, but right now this is what we got. And uh, the, the way I see it is that uh, Dave's not the one that's leading us, right? <laughs> Woo! We'd be in trouble if Dave was the one that's leading us. It's, 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 uh, it's, it's God that's leading us this morning. Am I right? Yeah, every morning, as a matter of fact. That's right. And uh, so um, we, we're just going to do what we're going to do right now, and uh, this is going to be a good time. And this is one of my favorite songs that we used to do way back in the day, so let's bring it back around, y'all. This one's called Every Move.
Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. And I'm so glad you're in my life. And I'm so glad you came to save us. Cause you came from heaven to earth to show. name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. Amen. And I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from here. cross my dear here we go from the cross to the grave let's go from the grave to the sky lord i lift your name on high lord i lift lord i lift your name on high lord i lift your name on Amen. What a good song, right? Amen. It doesn't matter if we've sang it a million times. It's always a good one, huh? Yes. Amen. Well, I sure do love this song, too. And um, last night, Mama called me. And uh, that's my mama over there, y'all, by the way. And, uh, <laughs> and she said, we talked about many a thing that went on during the day, which was just work. But, uh, and then she said, well, have you got anything planned for tomorrow? And I'm like, I forgot. I forgot. So, uh, so we threw some stuff together. And this one, whenever I was sitting around trying to pick around on the guitar at the house and remember some good stuff and something fresh, this one popped into my mind. And uh, I really knew that I wanted to do this one because it's a great, great song, y'all. And I believe that the message of it will ring true this year because there's a part of it that says, this is the year of the vengeance of our God. This is the year of the glory of our Lord. This is the day of his mercy. So if you know this one, Please sing it out with us, y'all. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is upon you. Because he has anointed you to preach good news. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is upon you. Because he has anointed you to preach good news. Of the 
upon me because he has anointed you to preach good news the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon you because he has anointed us about this in our Bible study this morning. This is the year. He said this in Daniel 12 10, many shall be purified and made white and tested, but the wicked shall do wickedly. It's the way it's going to be. That's what, that's what we see now. But in the midst of this, many will be purified and made white. Great revival. But the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Those of us in Christ, we know what's going on. Nothing has taken us by surprise because God has told it. We can see this. We can see the end times. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? We, we have a wonderful time here to see many purified. I'm excited about that part. And he said in verse 11, in the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, we know that's happened. And the abomination that maketh desolate set up, folks, it's set up, it's ready. And there shall be a thousand and two hundred and ninety days at three years. But go thou thy way. No, he said this, blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to that point. So folks, I'm excited about this, aren't you? In the name of Jesus. Wow. Isn't it something? God, God's amazing, right? Yes, God. Ain't, ain't that something? I had no idea that that was what the, uh, what the Sunday school or the Bible study was about this morning, like, like Brother Lamar said. Um, I had no idea, but that's how God works, right? right? Nobody has idea. Me and Brother Randy were talking earlier today. He said that there was a time in his brother's life where he needed money. Had none, needed it. Christmas was coming, needed it. And uh, out of the blue, something had happened that 
He had worked two weeks. They forgot to pay him, and $1,200 came in the mail to him. God provides, right? And God does it in his way. And uh, I'm talking to myself mainly is that you got to get out of the way and uh, surrender. And, uh, and that is a hard thing to do. That is a hard thing, especially for a man, and uh, to say I need help, right? And uh, so another thing that happened this morning is that, uh, of course, we've been working on lots of songs and trying to prepare uh, for, for the task that's been asked of me. And Mama said, uh, we had done practice songs and, and everything, and Mama said, well, why don't you try this, this one? And, um, and I had been practicing it and had thought about doing it today and uh, figured out, I figured whenever I was practicing at the house, I said, well, Lord, if it happens, you know, we'll, uh, it'll, we'll, we'll put that one in there. And uh, so it just so happened that there we go with our, with our wild and crazy God again, doing things that, that shake us up, right? So this is a great song. I think that we're going to do it, and, uh, and uh, it must be a reason to sing this one. the same old road for miles and miles you've been hearing the same old voice tell the same old lies if you're trying to feel the same old holes inside there's a better life oh there's a better life and if you've got pain He's a pain taker If you feel lost Oh, he's a way maker If you need freedom Or save him He's a prison shaking savior If you've got chains Oh, he's a chain breaker We've all searched for the light of day in the dead of night. I know I have. And we've all found ourselves worn out from the same old fight. Amen. And we've all run to things we know that just ain't right. That's okay. Because there's a better life. What is he? He's a chain breaker. If you believe it, if you receive it, and if you can feel it, somebody testify. Amen. Well, he's 
a prison shaking savior if you got chains he's a chain breaker Well, that's a good one, ain't it, y'all? It sure is hard to stop <laughs> when something like this is going on, y'all. It's, uh, it's certainly powerful, powerful words, you know? I mean, it's, uh, even after we're Christians, here I am again speaking to myself, even after we're Christians. <laughs> Ooh, boy. This old world is full of full of roadblocks and trip wires and all that. Amen. Whew. Boy, do I know. <laughs> and it only takes one, y'all. It'll trip you up. <sighs> and you can fall way down in a hole. And it seems like the only thing that was in that hole was a shovel and you just keep on digging it deeper. And you wonder what you're gonna do. <laughs> and then here comes a rope out of nowhere. And you don't trust it. You don't wanna grab it, you don't wanna be weak and and, and take some other route you want to be stubborn amen but as soon as you latch on right out of the hole you wonder how and you can't explain it and if you got pain well, he's a pain taker <laughs> and if you feel lost well, he's a way maker and if you need freedom or saving, well, I know he's a prison shaking savior. And if you got chains, he's a chain breaker. If you need freedom or saving, he's a prison shaking savior. And if you got chains, he's a chain breaker. I need you more More than yesterday I need you more Oh, way more than words can say And I need you more Than ever before I need you more I need you, Lord. Let's sing that again, y'all. I need you more. More than yesterday, I need you more. More than words can say, and I need you more. Way more than ever before, I need you more. I need you, Lord, more than the air I breathe, more than the song I sing, more than my next heartbeat, more than anything, and Lord, as time goes by, I will be by your side. Cause I never want to go back to my own life. I need you more. More than yesterday, I need you more. More than words can say, I need you I need you, Lord. 
I never want to go back to my own life. I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour. Oh, I need you. My one defense and my I need you, Lord, I need you, every hour, yes, I need you, my one defense, my righteousness, oh God, how I need you more more than words can say I need you more than ever before I need you Lord I need you more more than the air I more than the song I sing, more than my next heartbeat, more than anything, Lord, as time goes by, I will be by your side, cause I never want to go back to my own life. No, I never want to go back to my old life. I need you more. More than the song I sing, more than my next heartbeat. Sing it out. I need you more than ever before. I need you more. I need you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your presence here today. Thank you, Lord, for guidance and 
and doing it your way. This this has been real. Uh, this has been real good so far. God, thank you. Jesus, uh, couldn't have done it without Jesus. you. I need you more all the time. God, please Jesus. help me. We're all trying. I know I'm trying. And um, it sure is a tough thing, God. But we need you. Oh, how we need you. Thank you for this time. And, and uh, please bless this service, God. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Beautiful songs. We need our Lord and Master more and more and more. More than the air we breathe. You know, uh, I have, uh, you've been praying about this uh, Family Life Center, and I've been walking over that ground out there, and hopefully you have too, and even before we, uh, anything was ever out there, I'd walk that, that line back there. But, uh, you know, I pay attention to dreams, and uh, Don has had a dream about this, and I want you to tell him about it. Go ahead. That's okay. Larry and I just got back from the mountains, and of course I love the mountains and I love the rocks and everything. And but I dreamed when we came back, the uh, family life center was already built, and there was these rocks and stone that from the sanctuary to the new life center. And I was like, "Oh, where did these rocks come?" And Brother Mar said, "These are the same rocks that Jesus walked on." I'm like, oh, what, this is amazing. And I said, Brother Moore, how did this happen? And it was just so real and it was so beautiful. And he said, you've got to pray and you have to have faith. So that was the end of my, my dream. But I told, um, told Larry about it. And he said, you got to tell Brother Moore about that. But anyway, maybe that will come true. Right <laughs> but down. anyway, uh, I had to share that with Brother Moore. Thank you, Jesus. Let's just give the Lord a hand clap praise. Isn't that wonderful? All right, John, you heard that, rocks from Israel. <laughs> All things are possible. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's a great privilege and an honor. We, uh, the Gideons uh, is an organization that we think a lot of and we always support. And uh, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm excited about Tim Lassiter being here today. He's going to share his testimony in a few minutes. I've heard about Tim. I've never met Tim. And he has his wife, Teasy. I've got, uh, I got that right, didn't I? Did. Amen. And it's so wonderful to have y'all with us today. I hope that y'all have enjoyed the spirit of the Lord. Amen. And after you get through, I'm going to be talking about the word for just a few minutes. But if you'll come up, Uh, my name is Tim Lassiter. Uh, first of all, I'm a Christian, but I'm here to represent the Gideon International today. I think it's just about like uh, most things. It's a calling, and I'm very humbled that God has allowed me to share in his work and to be here today to share a few things on my heart with y'all. Uh, before I start, Let's, let's talk to God just a minute. Let's pray. Father, I do thank you for this, this opportunity, this privilege, this honor to be here today and, and to be a part of your work. I pray for this church. I pray for these fine people here. I pray that there be a light to the surroundings. I pray that you'll give them the desire be in your will, desire also to do your will. This morning I do pray for Brother Lamar. I ask God that you give him the, the strength, the wisdom, the insight to do your work. 
doing it a way that is pleasing to you. And I pray at the end of the day that you, God, we get all the glory and honor for it. This I do ask in the name above all, Jesus Christ. Amen. I've got um, kind of one of these situations. If y'all bear with me. Uh, uh, brother. That is one of the opportunities that we as Gideons, of course, we're able to go to uh, prisons, schools, and different things. But I want to uh, share with you this morning, if you bear with me, <clears throat> get my glasses on. <clears throat> Emmanuel Kent wrote this. I believe that the existence of the Bible is the greatest benefit to the human race. Any attempt to belittle it is a crime against humanity. The Bible is God's word. Those little testaments that I gave out right there, on the very first page, when you opened it up, first page. Some of y'all could open up a little bit. Okay. First thing about this right here, this is God's word. The second thing that's important, this book not to be sold. God's word is free through the Gideons. And third, this little buddy right here, it's made in the United States all day long. So that's a good thing. One other little tidbit about the Bible, then I'll move on. Um, most everybody knows what the motel, hotel Bible looks like when you go to a motel. Very honored and privileged to be a part of that. But I want you to understand how important that Bible in that motel room is. The life expectancy of that Bible is six years, six years long. During that six years, 2,300 people will come in contact with it, will actually see it. Out of that, 25% will come under conviction. The reason I'm saying that, I know most of y'all know, through the woods, as a crow would fly, Tullus, Louisiana sits over there. There's approximately about 285 people that live in Tullus. In six years, that 25% 
mounts up to 575 people will have God's glory revealed to them. So if the Bible wasn't there, a place the size of Tullus would not have God's word presented to them. And I think that's a good thing. I do believe. Last Saturday evening, we had a fall festival in Tullus. And we had the opportunity to be a part of that. You don't realize the opportunity that's out there until you get out in the field and see how people want God's word. I guess that's a simple way to actually want it. We began at 5 p.m. Saturday afternoon. We ended up at 7. During those two hours, it was probably the most fulfilling time me and my wife has had quite some time. You see, as the kids, the cars were coming through, they were getting candy. When they got to our stop, they would get candy. They also gave them a Bible. During that time, I was able to, to witness to several who had the cars. There was a wide range of people, reception to the Bible or whatever. As a whole, most of the children, I would put in their bag, they would dig it back out before they left and looking at it. The next stop down below where we were, when the children drove up at it, 90% of them, what they said, you see what I've got here. Pray. I've got a Bible. Pray. Yeah. Pray I mean, you, you can't, you don't get any better than that. Do not give up on yeah. you. Oh, Do not. flip side of that. I want, I, want, I want to tell y'all this right here. And we live in the Bible Belt, correct? Don't we? we do. There was a boy probably 10, 11 years old drove up got his candy. I walked over there and I, I, I put a Bible up there. You could look at his face. He said, what is that. Again, we live in the Bible Belt. Sometimes things catch you by surprise. When I told him what it was, I told him it was God's Word. And if he would read it, it would make him wise, which be wise in the world, it would give him confidence. He didn't know what the Bible was, but if they drove off, this is what he told me. And I to listen. I got a, got a picture of what it was. He told me, he says, thank you, Jesus. Pretty remarkable, I'm telling you, to 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 have someone that oh, didn't yeah. know, but that still has a sense that God's word was important. And I thank God for allowing me, regardless to take the Gideons out of whatever, being a Christian, to be there to witness those children. I thank y'all very much for your time. Again, I'm very humbled and very privileged to be here this morning. I thank y'all.
just a couple of scriptures with you. Speaking about this word. In the book of John, verse 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And in verse 14, and the Word was made flesh, and he dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten Father, full of grace and full of truth. In the book of Revelations, chapter 19, you're talking about visions and dreams. Chapter 19, verse 13 the Bible says, and he was clothed with a vesture that was dipped in blood. And his name is called the Word of God. His name is called the Word of God. When you pick up this word, you're picking up Jesus himself. Amen. You're picking up a supernatural relationship if you want it. It can be just words, or it can be a supernatural relationship. The Bible says this word will not return void, but it will accomplish exactly what he set it out to accomplish. The Bible says in the book of Malachi that the priest's lips, his mouth should speak this word. And when someone comes to us, we ought to give him the word of God. We are Christians here. We ought to know the word of God. And when someone comes up and asks us for advice, we ought to share the word of God. We're sharing Jesus with them. We're sharing Jesus with them. This is a living word. When you open up the pages, you begin to read, you can have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. There's a scripture in the book of James. Now listen to this. James 1, 21. He said, Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superficiality of naughtiness and receive. Now, this is kind of a little bit turned around because the first thing I want to tell you is to receive. Amen. To receive with meekness the engrafted word. Now I looked this up. This word is the implanted word. Some of your Bibles will say that. The implanted word, a live word that speaks to your heart, Jesus, and it implants on the inside of your heart. It implants on the inside of your heart, a personal relationship with him. It's worth more than silver and gold. It's worth more than the air we breathe. Amen. Everything around us will pass away. I don't know whether we'll breathe air up there or not. It doesn't make any difference. We'll, we'll be there and God will take care of it. And if we don't breathe air, it's worth more than the air that we breathe. It's worth everything to us. And he said this, the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. Now today if you're here and you don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Master and Savior, you can invite him in and you can receive this word. If you're here today and you have sickness in your body, the Bible is very, very clear. You can receive this word, and the word will not return void, but it will accomplish exactly what he set it out to accomplish. You're here today with pain. If you're here today with depression, whatever the case is, whatever the case is, if you will receive the engrafted word, let him implant it in your heart, God is here today. His name is Jesus. He is the Word. He's the live Word. He's the living Word. He's the relationship Word. He is all and He is everything to you. He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth should not perish but have everlasting life. And so today, you don't have to leave here with pain. Wherever you're at, whenever you hear this, you don't have to go on through life with pain. You don't have to go on through life with guilt while you're here. We always say, he said in his word, I bear your sins 
at the bottom of the sea. He said that he scatters them as far as the east is from the west and he remembers them no more. That was a favorite and still is today when I came to the Lord Jesus Christ and he takes all this guilt and he takes all this pain and all those things away and he gives you eternal life. I'm going to ask you to stand this morning. The name of Jesus, eternal life is for you today. It's for you today. You don't have to leave this building today the same way that you came in. The name of Jesus. You don't have to leave this building today. Let him touch you today. Rising again, I'll bless your name. You are my all in all. When I fall down, you pick me up. When I am dry, you fill my cup. You are my all in all.
with us today in the name of Jesus he touched Tim gave me a Bible here I appreciate that so much and Tim we just appreciate having you if you'll go to the front Tim's going to stand out there with an open Bible and uh, our friend is going to stand back here uh, with another offering if you want to give that's fine and I praise God isn't he worthy today in the name of Jesus, give the Lord a hand, clap of praise. God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. 